Hey y'all, hey, it's Amber, back with a very late weekly movie talk. So let's just get started. All right, so let's go over the new releases for this upcoming weekend, which if you didn't know, is April 15th through the 17th. So for this week, we have two wide releases and no limited releases that caught my eye. So let's start with our Wednesday release for April 13th is Father Stew with Mark Wahlberg and Melvin Gibson, AKA Mel Gibson. <laughs> Me and my friends call him Melvin Gibson after his little episode. So from now on, he is Melvin Gibson, which comes out this coming Wednesday, because I feel like there's a big powerhouse coming out on the 15th, which is the, this Friday. It goes by this name called, you might have heard of it, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I wonder what that's about. <laughs> Hopefully by now I have the April new release video up, so you could just check that out. My little highlights of reactions to those trailers. Out of those two, I definitely want to see both. I think Fantastic Beasts is the only one that I would rush out to go see, so... We'll just have to see how that actually ends up in next week's video. So definitely let me know below if you plan on seeing either one of those movies this weekend. Now, let's go over the changes for last week's top 10, which, if you don't remember, was April 8th through the 10th. We're actually only saying bye to one movie this week, which, coming in at number 11, was the movie X, which was previously at number 10, so... After four weeks on the charts, it's deucing out of the top 10 and probably will be hitting like Shudder or any other streaming services pretty quickly. But let's go check out what actually happened to the bottom of the top 10 this past weekend. At number 10, like I kind of predicted, was Sing 2, which was previously at number 11. And if you remember last week, I said that it probably is going to fight in and out of the top 10 until it's finally like bye 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 bye. So here it is again at number 10. At number 9 was the re-release of the 1997 movie Selena, starring Jennifer Lopez. I guess there's an anniversary for Selena or that movie, hence the re-release of it. I don't know exactly. Bruh. But it made an appearance in the top 10 at number 9 this past weekend. At number 8 was Spider-Man No Way Home, which was previously at number 7. And it's probably just going to slowly fall since I think it's either coming out on DVD or already dropped. So people will start just grabbing that up because I'm sure there's going to be a ton of extra features, especially with the, you know, the the whole secret at the end that I won't say because I'm sure there's people kind of like me that hadn't seen it yet, but I finally saw it last month, so you need to watch it. At number 7 was Uncharted, which was previously at number four. So that was a big jump down for it. And at number six was Everything Everywhere All at Once, which was previously at number nine. So that's cool being that, again, it's an indie film. So the way that it participates in the top 10 can vary. So I really love that it made it this far up. Considering the top five is a bunch of powerhouses right now. So for it to get even that high is pretty amazing. Let's go see how the top five turned out. Oh hey, if you're having fun today, make sure to like and share this video with other movie fans that you may know of. Also, don't forget to subscribe and tap that bell so you don't miss out on any other videos that I might be putting out. I'm trying to think of what's coming out. I'm gonna try to give movie review videos a chance. I just have to figure out like the logistics of what I want to put in it. Considering I don't know how to officially do a movie review, but I love giving my opinion and suggestions on if you should see it or not like if it's a movie worth seeing so be on the lookout for that in the next coming weeks definitely and also I mean I kind of want to go back to sharing other stuff that I might be doing outside of movies for example like when me and Patrick went to Pigeon Forge which you can watch in this video from last year wait was that last year it might have been the year before last oh my god either way if you want to see more of that stuff definitely let me know in the comments below and just be on the lookout for it because it might be happening soon. Also, I've decided to, when I have a chance, finish that origin story of my DVD collection. So that should be coming out as well soon when I find the time to finish editing it. Now, back to me. Before we go over the top five, let's go over the predictions I made for this past weekend. Right, if you remember last weekend, the only two, well, there was three wide releases that came out last week, but I really only saw two of them making it into the top five, and thus far, I'm correct. These are the predictions I had for last week's top five. Number five, I chose Ambulance. Number four, I chose The Batman. Number three, I chose The Lost City. 
Number two, I chose Morbius, even though it just came out the weekend before last. And at number one, I chose Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because again, it's the newest family-friendly movie. Let's go see how bad or well I did. All right, main event, top five for this past weekend, which again, if you forgot already, was April 8th through the 10th. Coming in number five was The Batman, making $6 million this past weekend. It was previously at number three, so I got that one wrong. At number four was the movie Ambulance, making $8 million for its opening weekend. So I got that one wrong because if you remember, these two were flipped in my prediction. So, hey, good for you, Guru Balls. At number three was The Lost City, making $9 million this past weekend. It was previously at number two. Got that one right. So let's see how well I did for the top two. At number two was Morbius, making $10 million this past weekend. It was previously at number one, so I got that correct, which means unless some alien movie or anime that I didn't hear about just popped into number one, at number one was Sonic the Hedgehog 2, making it $71 million this past weekend for its opening weekend. That makes me so happy because I love Jim Carrey and I love James Marsden. Didn't get to see it yet, but I plan to change that soon. Did you guys see it? Let me know what you thought with no spoilers in the comments below. I got three right out of five. That's pretty good. I think that was the score last week too, so good for me. Let's pick some predictions. It's prediction time for this upcoming weekend, which again is April 15th through the 17th. Now, I don't think it's going to be that hard of a choice to figure out how the top five might pan out for this upcoming weekend, but let's just give it a little shot, shall we? I'm rolling the dice on this one, but I think her number five might be Father Stew. It's a true story drama with Mark Wahlberg and Melvin Gibson, so I don't see it gaining a lot of traction at the theaters, but for the people that love dramas and true stories, or just Mark Wahlberg in general like me, we'll probably go see it as soon as they can, but I don't think there's gonna be doves of people going to see it, so I think it might land at number five this upcoming weekend. Number four and the number three spot might be a flipperoo, but for right now, I think number four might go to Morbius and number three go to The Lost City because, again, I think comedy always is going to outlast the superhero movies, especially if there's not a lot of star power behind it. Not to say Jared Leto's not a star, it's just he's got a lot of question marks behind him and I don't think his fandom is as strong as his music fandom because if you didn't know that he's the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars and that band's fans are dedicated but I don't think they're dedicated enough to just boost his movies at the box office so I feel like it's going to start slipping now. Number two, I think it's going to be Sonic the Hedgehog 2 because it's going to continue just to bring in a lot of money because, again, it's the only family-friendly movie that's out right now since Sing 2 is at the bottom of the 10. So that's how I think it's going to land for this upcoming weekend. Because at number one, I think anyone's going to predict this, but Fantastic Beast, The Secrets of Dumbledore, which is the third installment of the Fantastic Beast collection of movies from the Harry Potter universe. I myself would like to go see it. I need to actually buy tickets, to be honest. They're probably sold out. How do you guys think the top five is going to turn out? Definitely let me know down in the comment. And when I remember to, I'll put mine down there as well so that we can compare and see who gets more right next week. That is a wrap for this week's movie talk. If you had fun today, definitely let me know down below. And until next time, tell your mother I said hello.